Your travel destinations, okay, and your interstate travel is bizarre. It doesn't make sense. You don't have it. You, you don't have. I've a done. I've done nothing do. wrong. Okay. I wasn't speeding. Hey, listen, you went from zipping when along to when, when, when I go to light you up. I guarantee you, it is. It's not. I even understand. Show me the law. We'll show you at the station. You either no. identify yourself or they'll take you into custody. You decide. You cannot kidnap me. I haven't broken any laws. That's again. Turn around. No, sir. Put your hands behind your back. You don't. don't you can film anything you want from public. But you need a permit. No, you don't. Yes, you do. It's on airport property. I'm not yeah. on airport property. I'm on you're public but you're property. Filming airport property. Okay, but I'm not on it. Hey, folks, welcome back to our channel where we talk about civil rights, public places, and how personal freedom interacts with what society thinks is right. Today's video is an interesting journey into the world of recording things in public, all right, that often deals with rules and what people feel where simply recording in a public space turns into a story full of tension, curiosity, and the desire for mutual respect. Through interactions with the public and the police, we're looking into how to balance using your rights and dealing with what people think. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss any of our updates. <laughs> We've got some awesome content lined up for you. So let's get started. Let's try that again. Why Why are we stopping me and having a dog come out? One, because I'm driving one, down the road. A dog out. Two right now, you just stopped, you just slammed your vehicle in the middle of the road. You two, put, I, your, I go you to put pull your you lights over. on, maybe two, you're going go around me. Over. Two, I go to pull you over, uh -huh. you do a complete circle. Okay. okay. It, but, and now I'm stopping you and you back your car up. You That's told me to back in here. You just told me that you're coming from Delaware. You told to me pretzels. to back my car into you, the spot. I never said that. Yes, you, just, you did. You just told me that you're coming from Delaware to buy pretzels on Easter. That's right. Okay. I'm and allowed to go I, out and I, drive I, wherever I, 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 I want. This is America. Zipping, zipping up and down Clevis Bridge Road. Nobody's okay. zipping up anywhere. Okay. I went to speed limit the whole time. Speed limit. 35 then 25. The whole time. I'm a professional driver for a living. I know how to follow the speed limit. First it was erratic driving. Now you say it's tint. Which one is it? And don't forget, I have you on tape saying it was erratic driving. For, 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 doesn't make for, sense. First no, we Brian, went... Stop. Listen, I'm going to explain things. I'm not, I'm not going to sit here and argue. I'm going to explain things to you. All right. You're driving an hour from Delaware. Your interstate travel doesn't match up, doesn't match up with your destination route. You just advised me that you're going to the pretzel factory right there. It, it, it's closed. Unfortunately, that pretzel factory is closed. So if you know that, why would you be heading to a closed destination? Maybe from one's an open and one's Delaware. not open. Okay, but you first, just know, you first, know they're closed. First of all, I don't on, know on, they're closed. You just said they're closed. That one down there, yeah, I pulled okay, in and correct. it was closed. You so are, I left to drive to the next there. one. Right across, right across, right across in, in, in the, the police Walmart. station. There's a pretzel factory right across from that pretzel factory in the Walmart, which is two minutes away. So I don't know that. that. The next one's on the Black Horse Pike. You surpass that, and you're not you're not even are, on the Black Horse are, Pike. Uh, uh, so, I got to get so on right 42. Now, your travel destinations, okay, and your interstate travel is bizarre. It doesn't make hey, sense. Hey. You don't have it. You you don't have. I've a done. I've done nothing do. wrong. Okay. I wasn't speeding. Hey, listen, you hey, went from zipping when along to when, when, when I go to light you up, I stopped. You completely stopped your car. That's what you do when the cop pulls you over. You stop. Oh well, guess what? I wasn't speeding. I didn't violate any laws. I'll take my documents back. And thank you. Have a nice day. Okay, too. That that pretzel factory, the one that you said you're going to, is closed. Then I guess I won't get it. And I'll try the one in Philly okay. next, in South so, Philly. Maybe, but you. So Walt you're Whitman Bridge. Delaware, you, you it doesn't matter first. where I'm coming from. It does. No, it, it doesn't. That's my job to investigate. No, it's not. And you're not investigating like that, anything. You uh, pull me over because I'm out of state, and you're you're pulling your game. I wasn't speeding. I wasn't doing. Uh, first, we went from. Last time I checked, there's first, a lot more things you could be stopping. First, you went speed. from zipping along. Right, zipping along the road. This is what you told me, and then you went Sorry, to then you went to erratic driving. Then you went to suspicious I, I behavior, you, and right the right fourth here. excuse I, I was it. tenant I, windows. I explained to you this. Tenant Your windows. Your vehicle has tenant windows. Okay, uh, that's great. Second, they're legal. Your interstate travel. They're legal. And, and where you're coming from, Gulf makes absolutely no sense. That's you're good. Forty five minutes to Delaware. Have a nice day. I'll take my place. I'll take my documents. You understand where I'm coming from? You have a nice day. Have a great day. Yeah. You can tell this cop is just used to pulling people over for no reason at all. He's just fishing, tossing a line out and hoping to catch something. Good thing Brian wasn't biting and sent him packing. Basically, this cop made the stop because he saw a car go one way and then come right back. But hey, that's not illegal. There are tons of reasons why someone might do that. Maybe they got lost or changed their mind about where they were heading. In Brian's case, he went somewhere that turned out to be closed. Cops can only stop you if they have probable cause to believe you committed a crime or if they see you breaking a traffic law. Just noticing the car turning around isn't enough for probable cause. So this cop was basically making a pretextual stop, 
pulling someone over for a minor reason just to check for a bigger crime. That's a violation of your Fourth Amendment rights. The officers need to remember they can't just stop people because they're curious or suspicious. They're supposed to serve the public, not harass or intimidate us. Don't forget to check out the original links in the description to visit their channels and show them some love. Not too bad. Officer Hendricks with Maryville Police Department. Got a call from hotel management. Oh, I was just cleaning my car out. Gotcha. I uh, said you've been out here for a couple hours. I don't, you know. All right. You got an ID on you, man? No, I don't. Uh, there's no reason to ID me. Okay. What's your name? I'm not doing anything wrong. Okay. What's your name? I'm not going to give you that either. 13, you want to head this way. I mean, we got called on you. Well, You've been out here sir, for sir, no. two hours, which would be... Do you have a room here? No, I was cleaning out my car. So that'd be trespassing. Town. I'm getting ready to leave town. Okay, so my that'd man. be trespassing. That's not trespassing. If you don't Fred Hendricks got dispatched to a hotel where a guy was hanging out in the parking lot. The management wanted him trespassed from the property. Hendricks called for backup and Sergeant Adam James and one officer showed up almost immediately. In this video, this guy was arrested without being given the chance to leave. You may know that failure to identify is a secondary charge, but he was never even asked to leave. Out of the kind of escalated things by demanding I eat and bypassing the trespassing laws to enforce his own feelings. The man asked for a sergeant, but unfortunately, the sergeant was just as bad as the first cop. When cops are trained only in brute force force and clients, but not in understanding people's natural rights, this is what happens. These cops are making our founding fathers turn in their graves. They're tarnishing the foundation of freedom. Obviously, Hendricks was unprofessional and swore at the man, which is a policy violation. He's definitely not meeting the professional standards. So let's check out this video. I have a room here. We all have room here. And we got called here. And we got called here. Public. So. Just getting ready to put the oil in my car and leave. Okay. What's your name? That's all you need. What's your name? What is your name? I'm not giving you my name, sir. Okay. We got one. You got warrants or something? No, I don't. Okay, so why didn't you give me your name? Because I don't have to. Well. I not have it broken any laws and this is America. Okay. Okay. Oh, I don't know. Thank you for coming to make sure I was doing nothing wrong, which I'm doing nothing wrong. So you can go on with your day. I'm getting ready to leave. Well, you're not free to leave. Uh, yeah, I am. You can totally hear the cop's frustration as he sighs. They always want everyone to just comply and often ask, why are you making things difficult? But here's the real deal, Adil. It's not the people making things tough for them. It's their training and bosses. They're taught to believe everyone should follow their every command and that they have authority over everyone. So when they meet someone who stands up for their rights, they label them a sovereign citizen and start stepping all over their rights. This happens way too often. Cops are told to hassle as many people as possible, hoping to catch criminals. But just because they bend the rules to catch someone doesn't make it right. They use fancy words to make their reports sound justifiable. So next time you hear a cop complaining about people being difficult, remember, it's really the, their training and mindset causing the problem. So I am free to leave. Um, what am I being detained for? What law? What well, law? they said you were out here for two hours. That doesn't matter what they said. You don't have a room here. So obviously that would be trespassing. This is public property. I don't see anywhere. No, it's says not public no property. Do it's you? private property. The hotel is this. Do you see anywhere it says no trespassing? Hotel is this. It doesn't matter. Do you see anywhere? So it's not public do property. Do you see anywhere that it says so that? So it's not public property. Yes, it is. Okay. Public comes in, don't they? Public goes in there, don't they? Do you have this your ID public. on you? You're not going to ID yourself? Huh? I said, are you not going to ID yourself? I haven't done anything wrong, sir. Nothing. Are you failing to identify? Uh, it's not illegal to fail to identify. Actually, it is. I have not broken any laws. Actually, it is. When I request nope. your inf not information. You okay. Thank you, though. Do you have any weapons on you? Other than, Why would I tell other you than the metal thing that you're holding? Why would I tell you anything? You think you could just identify me? Okay. This isn't, this isn't Germany. This isn't Gestapo. I haven't broke no laws. Leave me the fuck alone. Okay. Thank you. So... I don't understand what this aggression is towards me because I haven't done anything to you. The question is you keep prying in my questions. I don't have to give you nothing. What's your okay. name? Okay. Officer Hendricks. I already told you What's that. What's your address? I already told you. Did I ask for your address? Yeah. It comes on my ID, don't it? Oh, I didn't ask for your address, you though. You didn't get mine either. 12 dispatch. 
Now, go ahead. Are you ready to go? No. Yeah, I am. No, you're that's not. Where you're wrong. That's where, that's where you're wrong. No, you're not. Why am I not free to go? Give me name well, you one ask articular hotel crime that I committed. If they want this suspect. Name one. Trespassed. What's that? Name one. One thing, one one crime, one law I just broke. I told you, trespassing. There is no no trespassing. They didn't come outside and tell me I needed to leave. Yeah, yeah, why, would they? Back. why would they? I don't blame them for Exactly. That. The why way would acting? they? Because it's not a law. Okay. Okay. So, um... You know it's not a law, sir. You know it's not a law. And you're breaking my constitutional rights right no. now that you took an oath for. No, And that I'm I can not. sue you for. No. Yeah. So you better go check. Call your sergeant. How about you not get in that vehicle? How about you threaten me and, and, How about you not and put hands vehicle? on me for no reason? I will. Okay? You're not going to get in that vehicle. Sir, you're not allowed to do that. Call your sergeant. I'm sergeant. Sergeant. I'm headed your way. Back up. Get the Shut f*** out of my space. Shut the f*** out of my about that? All right, let me explain how it works with this property. It's private property, but open to the public, so you can go there and do business. If the owner or their rep asks you to leave, they have to give you a chance to go. You refuse, the cops can give you a written warning. And if you still don't leave, then they can arrest you. But this cop, he ignored all that and jumped straight to demanding ID without following the actual trespassing laws. Get out of my space. I don't space. know what the hell your problem is. Hey, Get out of my space. I did not come up to you all aggressive and okay, shit. Okay, and I so said, no, I'm not going to give you my identity. Okay. And I'm getting ready to leave. Did I not? Except for now you're causing a fucking scene because I'm about to get loud. Except for you're not free to leave. To leave. Not free to leave. To, I'm going to record this shit. Go ahead, man. It's already recorded. No, I don't Look. fucking trust your fucking cameras. It's green. Let me grab it's my recorded. phone. You are not grabbing anything out Sir, of there. Sir, you cannot. I don't know if there's weapons in this there. This is my property. Yeah, except for I don't know if there's weapons in there. It doesn't matter if there's weapons in there or not. I'm allowed to fucking have weapons. No. Yeah. I might let you in there. Why? Because I don't know if there's weapons in there. I'm not breaking any fucking laws, sir. None. Okay. I'm free to go. No, you aren't. Yes, I am. I haven't done anything. No, you aren't. I told you. Hotel management called and said you've been here that for a couple hours. That doesn't mean I broke a law. It's trespassing. It's not trespassing, sir. They didn't even you come don't out have a and tell me anything. So, no. No name. No nothing. Okay. Not cooperating. I do not consent. I'm free to go. Because you've not broken any laws. Well, this Thank is a sergeant right here. Have I broken any laws? No. Okay, so we just got I a call from hotel management that he's been out here changing he's clothes, to his car. car. Um, my property doesn't check back to him. My property, as a matter of fact, um, he said he's been out here for two hours just changing I clothes, didn't messing say that. around. They you know. said that. He just said he doesn't have a room here. You can so. see all the trash in the damn dumpster I just threw in there. Okay. That's so all I was doing. It's cleaning out my damn You're not supposed car. to use public dumpsters to dump your crap in. Oh, now it's a public dumpster. So, I mean, I haven't done anything wrong, sir. All I did was say, no, I'm not going to give him my name. I'm not doing anything wrong. I just put oil in my car. I'm just hitting the highway to leave. Period. Okay, well, so far what you have is they've been called here for a lawful reason. Okay, what they, law? They, I'm going to talk. They're talking about something. They've got a concern. You just said you illegally dumped. So now... That's not illegal. It is because you didn't rent a room here. You don't have a right to put your stuff in. They pay for that dumpster to get dumped. That's no, not... You're not talking, that's no, not, you're not talking that's over not me. That's not I guarantee you it is. It's not I understand. Show me the law. We'll show you at the station. You either no. identify yourself or they'll take you into custody. You decide. You cannot kidnap me. I haven't broken any laws. That's against my That's constitution. That's the way it's going to go. No, Twelve dispatch. What did the hotel management say? Constitution, sir. Hook him up. No. <coughs> Turn around. No, sir. Put your hands behind your back. Get Don't your fucking your get pocket. so fucking violent, dude. Why are you want to get fucking violent? Okay? Okay? Fuck! You guys are fucking up. asshole fuck. Did this you was very phone, simple. Please, sir? No, this was very simple. All you do is What was simple about it? What did I do wrong? Nothing. I didn't do a fucking thing wrong. So y'all are illegal don't search. Move. I do not consent. That's fine. Quit don't fucking spitting in my fucking, fucking face, fucking motherfucker. Fucker. Fuck you, dude. Fuck you, you fucking young little bitch. I ain't fucking doing anything wrong, sir. You wanna know my name? If you... Raymond fucking Grove! Okay. You, you keep acting like this. Now get my fucking cops off me! Go ahead. Do you have ID on it? Fuck you! There's no ID. It's probably in the car. I don't have an ID! I'm homeless, you fuck! You feel better about yourself? Do you? Do you do you do you do you do you no, it's on the way it goes. That, that is the way it fucking goes! It's a simple check. Yeah, and I yeah, said... Yeah, you could have complied. I, said, it would have I been don't different. have to comply! Well, obviously you do. You're in handcuffs, aren't you? Yeah, because you're a fucking goddamn Casalpo Kyrie! You better stop it now! I'm not messing with you. Fuck you, bitch! You better stop. I ain't done nothing. Not swung one time. Are those are those double locked yet? Yeah, they're double locked. Are they double locked? Yeah. Yep. Okay, whose car is he going in? Cage. Cage. 
Let's go. You got no reason to for this. You better have a goddamn ticket for this. You better have a fucking ticket for this. Quit trying to pinch me. I'm not trying to pinch you, you fucking pinch douchebag. What are you trying to break my wrist? Quit trying to pinch, pinch me then. How the fuck am I pinching you, motherfucker? You're, You're a fucking pussy, dude. You're a fucking Get pussy. In Get in the car. Get in the car now. Oh, wow. You guys are so tough. I do not consent to shit. You don't have to. Good. That's noted. When you get me down to the station, when you let me out, because I ain't breaking any laws, quit, sir. Quit you're resisting arrest no, now. No, no, no. So you're actually going to go to jail. Uh, you better quit. You understand? Do you're it. making it a lot worse on yourself. Do it, sir. Come on. Do it. Do it. You're going to fuck up, dude. I'm getting you guys for this shit. That's fine. Stop your elbow in my chest, please. No, you turn your head that way. And don't worry. Right. 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 I got it. I got his head. Neck. Quit. I'm not doing anything wrong, you fucking faggot. Get the fuck off me. All of you are getting sued. Every fucking one. So, folks, this guy is having a rough time and mentioned he's homeless. Officer Hendricks got a call from the hotel, but that didn't give him the right to ignore the man's Fourth Amendment rights. But the cop falsely claimed the man was illegally dumping to demand his ID. The supervisor was just as aggressive. So this could have been handled by simply asking the man to leave. But Hendricks escalated it into an arrestable offense. This happens often because cops aren't trained in laws that protect people just in ones that benefit them they can quote laws that let them pull you out of a car but not ones that protect passengers cops use coercion to violate rights and if you don't comply they resort to extreme measures know your rights and always record the police the first amendment gives you freedoms of speech press religion assembly and petition the fourth amendment protects you against unreasonable searches and seizures Cops often don't seem to know this, even though they're given guns and badges. So let's watch our next case. Not much, I'm just getting some video of the area. Uh, uh, you're aware there's an uh, Air Force installation? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Why are you reporting this? I'm an independent journalist. Okay. Why are you writing the story? Yeah. Why are you writing the story on The whole area. There, pour this, everything within it. Yes. Okay. You got an ID on it? No, I don't. You don't have any form of identification? No. Why would I need an ID? Uh, in the state of you need to have an ID or some way to go. If you've committed a crime. Or if I ask. No, I don't have to give it to you if you ask. I can deny. Are you demanding or asking? I'm asking. So I can deny, yes. Okay. You've got to give me No. Okay. I'm anonymous. I, my story's not published yet, so. This is my business. I'm doing a story. No, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. I mean, I literally just freaking got here like two minutes ago, literally. Like, well, ten minutes ago. Yeah, I've never been here before, ever. So, yeah. They called us, they had a couple of people stop. You know, there's there's security behind everything. Oh, yeah, I understand. They had a couple of people stop by today and just sat around the road. Oh, uh, it wasn't me. It looks, you know, it just looks suspicious. Whatever people just stop, sit in front of the guard. That wasn't me, so I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, it wasn't me. With it, this being tying and this being our property, uh -huh. to be to be able to film or to do anything in that sense because we own all of this, you need to get a permit. Do you have a permit? No. From our HR department? Okay. You can go to the airport. You can go through our operations. Is this not a public street? No. This is a street, but what you're filming is our property. Okay. Film the street but I'm stuff. filming it from a public street. You yeah. can film anything you want from public. But you need a permit. To no, film you don't. Our property. Yes, you do. It's on an airport property. I'm not yeah. on airport property. I'm on you're public but you're property. Filming airport property. Okay, but I'm not on if it. You're, if you're doing this to make money, if you're doing this to make money, then you need a permit. To I'm not there. making money. You said it, you're, you're a journalist, right? Yeah. Somebody could pick the story up, or they could not. I don't mean I'm gonna make money. You could. That's, are you gonna put this on YouTube? 
it doesn't matter well i mean if you put it on youtube or somewhere you're gonna get a profit then you're gonna make money off of it that still don't require me to have a permit i've done this many times all over the area okay well here's what i'm gonna do if you can talk to our hr to probably get a permit or you can um you can still film if you want to like there's not against a lot of that but then you know, at the end of the day like if our or if um, civil law comes out here, they can come out here and see you because you're coming for profit. They can do that. No. no that, that, that's, that's not, we're doing criminal stuff. That would be a massive civil lawsuit if they did that. Exactly. But see, that's for my killer. part. We're on criminal side. Exactly. So, I'm so, not doing nothing illegal. Okay, I'm saying you can film, but like I said, but I'm just letting you know that if you're out here going to make a profit from the journalism that you're claiming that you have, then that could uh, come back and get you. Okay. Or just saying, or I'm just letting you know. That. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, if they sue me, my lawyers will sue them. Okay. I'm just saying. But other than that, we're, we're done here, right? Yeah. Okay. What, where'd you park at? Did you drive here? Does it matter? I walked up in here. Yep. Nope. That's all I wanted. Hey, man. Can I get y'all's names and badges? Officer Cersei. Cersei? 43. I'm Officer Leonard, 38. 38. Speak up. All right, thank you. Is there anything else we can do for you? No. I'm just going to get a little more video and then I'll be out. All right. Be careful. Don't, don't get the internet. Oh, no, I'm not. I, I'm not going to go on the property. I'm not going to go on the road. So that's a total lie mixed with threats. There's no law saying you need a permit to film their property. They're just trying to intimidate the guy to control him, but auditors of America didn't back down and rightly so. Now be ready for them to do something unlawful about it. That's when you need to step up and hold them accountable. Often these tyrants will arrest someone for something they mistakenly think is a crime and take him off public property. And when nothing is done about it, they think it's okay. So we have to make sure we immediately file complaints and follow up with civil litigation. If these officers get enough complaints on their record, it will start to add up and make them look bad. And maybe then they'll ease up a bit. Remember, as long as you're on public property, you can film anything you see and there's nothing legally these cops can do about it. And just so you know, this includes filming in airports. The US Constitution, specifically the First Amendment, protects our right to film in public spaces, including airports. As long as you're not in restricted areas or interfering with security operations, you're good to go. The police can't stop you from recording just because they feel like it. 